April song, I think, will be the last to load in this large field of 13. Besto goes in an April song, so I think, and I beg your pardon, Soho Mouse. Soho Mouse looks like she'll be the last to load. And I think we're all set for the call before her. That was a good break by Ledford. But Seattle Spire quickly takes up the running, being followed there by Best Toe. Then comes Iced Waterfall. Father Buck follows Murray. They go quickly past the 1800 meter mark. It is now Iced Waterfall who takes up the lead here from Seattle Spire. And April Song is the back marker. I beg your pardon. There looks to be someone behind April Song. And that is now Murray. So Iced Waterfall with a healthy lead of about four lengths from the Black Cup of Winter Comet. Then comes the Orange Cup, but Iced Waterfall lo losing that lead to Red to Seattle Spire, who's been up there from the beginning. So it is Iced Waterfall. Then starting to show on there, outside there, is Fire Drake with Charles Jenga there. So it is Seattle Spire who still holds the front there. And they're bunching up to challenge this leader being led there now by Fire Drake and the Orange Cup of Barbados and Iced Waterfall starting to feel the heat as they come onto the home straight. So it is Seattle Spire, Fire Drake, the closest challenger. Then Melu being produced. Soho Mouse is now looking for space in there in this very jumbled up field. Melu, then Barbados is also there now and then Red Raider is also now trying to mount a challenge to this winner to this leader here but it is Soho Mouse the famous colors of the Spencers going to clear and obliterate this field Soho Mouse will win this by a very very strong margin Red Raider is in second Ledford will be third then comes Chitaki Spring in fourth April Song Father Buck comes there the Black Cup of Winter Comet and Iced Waterfall will finish last of all. Soho Mouse wins. I'm happy with the winning connections of the winner of the sixth race, the call before a handicap, won in that very emphatic fashion there by Soho Mouse. Les there seemed to be a, a very frantic pace from the beginning and in usual fashion he settled in mid division. In the home straight, it looked like the horse was actually on overdrive um yeah first of all i'd like to say a big thank you to the trainer and richard cabet who have worked tirelessly with her to get her right for the start um and today you know she went into the start and she just she impressed me i mean you know i i i sat mid division and coming into the straight she just took me to the front so i'm very happy with her well congratulations on a good win and i have Soho Master's trainer, Dr. Pachi Sakum. In the Phillies Guinness, she didn't really seem to handle the ground too well. Today, she's come out here and she's completely obliterated this field. Did you expect that quick reversal of fortune? 
I thought she was going to do well today because I, I think this filly was feeling something in the filly's guineas. She didn't enjoy the ground and she was also, um, you know, very bad to load. So we spent a lot of time doing physio, um, putting her in the start, and she suddenly decided not to be nasty anymore and to go fast for us, which she did today. Congratulations on a good win. And for the owners, Venetia, um, as Patsy is saying, she's had a dramatic change of fortune with this filly. And did you expect such an easy win? I was really looking forward to seeing her running over a bigger distance, um, but some massive thanks um, to Patsy and all of the Circum team for putting so much time and effort into her because it's really um, paid off today and uh, I couldn't be more grateful for them. Well, congratulations all for a good win. And the full results of the sixth race, the call before a handicap, the winner, horse number eight, Soho Mouse, second horse number five, Red Raider, third horse number ten, Ledford, fourth horse number thirteen, Chitake Springs.